So, so. does it... Uh, does it cost more or less to sit underneath the smoking chandelier? <laughs> uh. um, I'm not sure what it costs to sit under the chandelier. Uh, um, I can tell you that during the show, the chandelier does not come down this low. Because uh, if it did, can you imagine sitting under it? The chandelier does weigh just over a ton. Yep, one ton. It has 6,000 beads. That's right, 632 on every strand. Um, it is wired for pyrotechnics, electrics, and thrills. So... Uh... A ton of uh, a ton of crystal and uh, and metal right, right, right. hanging crystal, over metal, the fiberglass. hanging yep. over the expensive seats. That's right. It's like it, a small Nissan hanging over your head. And uh, and this is your responsibility. Well, <laughs> mine in addition to many other people's. Um, actually, the guy in the red shirt there is Mike Berg. He's our pyrotechnician, so he is uh, in charge of a lot of that. Um, one of our carpenters, George, actually deals with a lot of it as well. So <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do. I'm one of the stage managers here at You're Phantom. one of the stage managers. Mm -hmm. Little job, one of the biggest, most complicated shows on the road. Little... It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm one of four. There are four of us because it is such a complex job. How so, about that? How about yep, that? I'm lucky to be part of such a good team. What is it like? I mean, is it... Is it crazy putting it together or? Uh, you know, it's an adventure in every city. Um, putting it together, I mean, obviously it takes a huge amount of time here. It took us two and a half days. Uh, and then it, you know, takes us maybe only like 15 hours to get it out of a place because of course it's easier to take apart a puzzle. Mm -hmm. So, but we are, we have a traveling crew of 20 and in addition to about a hundred local stagehands, that's who puts it together. And then during the run of the show, we have about 35 local stagehands helping us make sure everything is perfect. So it's air, it's air traffic control. You got you it, got it a few dozen is. people running around back there. And, it is. We uh, call it the backstage ballet. It's uh, just as important as the onstage ballet. You know, they rebuilt the back of the Sanger in order to be able to bring in these big shows. It's true. We were so excited to come here. I would, the last time I was scheduled to be here was a month before Katrina hit, so obviously that didn't work out. So I was so excited to be able to come finally to the historic Sanger. That, and it's very Phantom of the Opera. Absolutely. Kind of. It's one of those great theaters where you go, ooh, it looks like it was made for this place. And you